All right. So, everything is done. So, continue this. Trying to get out of here, proud gladiators. You learn fast. Time for a real challenge. My best warrior is going to fight today. Takati, the forest man. Deadly and precise, Takati has won the audience's adoration. And we're supposed to fight him. Core, no! Why would I waste you like that? You'll be Takati's opening act. I'll sick a few beasts on you. The audience loves animals. Okay. We're ready. Good luck. One fight after another. What do we have here? Wolves. Um, smartest thing is to wait. And then they have to get here and we can run to them, not wasting an attack by going further than our maximum. Um, yeah, so we do just that. Wait, you can actually fall behind a bit and then shoot. Okay, you may also wait and you may fall back and then wait. Yeah, they get into contact, but they are unable to attack. So now we bash. Oh, and we get another turn just right away. Oh, and we forgot that she has the spell that gives us another turn instantly. <laughs> That's all pretty good. Um, Why not? Why not? Another. Okay. Just two to go. It's pretty decent. Can hide here. Good, you attack Nova, please. Oh, the dwarf, it's fine too. Um. Oh, I thought she was out of arrows. Fight, huh? Did it even get hit? Hey. Never mind, maybe we will get hit. Nope. Compared to the last fight, this is pretty easy. On you go. Good job. Well. I guess that's not it, is it? Hmm, I was wrong. Okay. Quest course changed your gladiators. Well, we saved, so let's continue. The game has changed a bit. Diego Monterey will explain. Once a year, the exalted Kyrios Marwan Al Ahmad sponsors the Battle of the Nine Hordes in the arena of Mengpila. No gladiator has ever survived these fights. Therefore, the gladiator school refuses to let us use any of their fighters in the show. So, we need new gladiators, and we think you might be suitable. Any questions? <clears throat> okay. What exactly are these nine hordes? The greatest spectacle in the history of Mengbila. 
Marwan went all out. He collected the deadliest beasts the arena has ever seen. The gladiators are supposed to defend a captive maiden against the hordes, which is virtually impossible. Marwan wants this forest man, Diamantos. The Kyrios will receive the gladiators who prove themselves. If Takati wins, he can have him. Then I hope for all of us that he doesn't lose. <laughs> Who's this maiden? A pretty girl named oh. Doreen. Oh, of course. But she's also a nasty her. witch. She committed some sort of crime. Not sure which one. The city guard was after her, but we were faster. Good luck. We should try to get out of here. No. Weren't you listening? You won't live long if you try to fight the Nine Hordes. I need to know if the Maiden in the arena really is Aurelia. She might know what happened to me. Let's take care of our injuries first. There are no injuries, but we might... Do we want to spend nine silver? To get a couple of mana points for Zuberan? What? See you in the. Uh. Ah, what the heck? You look perfectly. Raja. Oh, it's just eight Talos. Okay. You turned up. Ready? Yeah. We're ready. Good luck. There's Takati. Ouch. Um. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Let's kill those guys ASAP. I don't really want to have him in the melee here, but on the other hand, I don't just want to waste his turns. Ah, whatever, he can just cast a fireball, I guess. Who's next? Ah. Okay, now he really needs some healing. Level two is sufficient. Katia is approaching our mage. We failed it, that's grand. Rob, dodge, come on. Oh, please. Thank you.
Uh, yeah. Hit the mage. Good. Tough nut to pray. <laughs> we have to heal the dwarf now. You're not making it harder on us, you're just prolonging the fight here. There we go. Enough. Break off the fight. No. You've all proven yourselves worthy of facing the night. Oh. No, I am defeated. Give me the final blow. You'll get to die soon enough, Gladiator. Marwan wants to see you fight in Mengbil. You'll accompany the others. Now get some rest. Your journey towards glory or death begins tomorrow. Welcome to our traveling circus, forest man. Well, I mean, that's the good thing. We now get to Mingbilla and maybe meet Aurelia, who holds the keys to our past, probably. Welcome to Mengbila, gladiators. No arena is more beautiful, and only the Bal Honak arena is larger. This is Tulifa Alkira, the most glorious gladiator in Mengbila and director of the gladiator school. She'll answer your questions. All right, you amateurs. The fight against the Nine Hordes will soon begin. A three-day massacre. If I were you, I'd confess all my sins tonight. Is there a prize? Of course. The winners get to spend a night with the Maiden. Oh! Provided the Maiden survives as well, of course. The Maiden. What do you know about her? Aurelia is a beautiful girl. Too bad the crowd won't really notice. She wears a mask of shame. Why does the damsel have to wear a mask? They say she's a witch. The mask prevents her from casting spells. Or perhaps Marwan just wants to heighten the drama. What's awaiting us now? Nine battles in three days. The most bloodthirsty audience in the South, and opponents who know no mercy. Do I have to fight too? Nobody can force you to, sweetheart. But I recommend that you at least parry your enemy's blows. <laughs> We'd like to learn something. Oh. She knows Dutch too. That's very good. Ah, uh, and Lockdown, which is also very good. And it takes off opportunity, which... Well, you know. Damn! Oh, and we got the new member. He is sufficient with the spear, which is not very good. So a whole lot of his AP will go into 200 machine weapons, I think. Yeah, he just be another melee. It's the most effective thing, in my opinion at least. So you at least need to get 14 here, 14 was the number the others have, right? Yeah. They could slowly increase that too, but, well. Come on, one more willpower is very important, so you get the bonus. Um, no wait, we were here. 
He has dodge one. He needs power blow one for sure. And that's it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, well. I mean, for him, it's dodge for sure, because he doesn't have a shield, so... His defense is a little weaker as it is. So he will profit from dodge, yeah. Um, okay, what about you? You cannot learn a lot. Hmm. I mean, he forfeits his parry, that's a bit counter, um, not intuitive, but it's not really playing well with him carrying a shield. Ain't that right? Still triple the weapon damage is pretty good and he, if the situation um, prefers or, that, or demands that he plays it a bit more defensively he can still use power blow and all as well. But yeah. Um, yeah, I believe I go for the dodge as well. So it's really a useful skill to have. Okay, how about you? You are our... Okay, you need one more dexterity, one more agility and a higher range weapon skill. Twelve, yeah, you can increase it to fourteen, no problem. And you can put one on dexterity or agility. Okay, let's do fourteen fourteen. Good, good. We should improve this soonish, I believe. At least the knockdown resistance. I can still learn the attacks of opportunities. I mean, with him, I believe I just want to run into the enemy hearts and try to soak up as much blows as I can. And with that, attack of opportunity gets a nice synergy. Oh yeah, synergies, that was the word I wasn't finding. So, I believe attack of opportunity is very useful for him as well. Yeah. Good. For you, I mean, it's good for every melee character. But we really should be doing knockdown soonish. And when we have that, I believe I want to increase weapon talents and body control and willpower and that kind of stuff a bit. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep, sure. What's that again? Nah, that's not very helpful. Yeah, you got the spare. Problem 1d6 plus 4 isn't great damage wise. I mean, even this one handed weapon has 1d6 plus 3. Plus 1. Huh. Yeah, so it's uh, actually the same. Yeah. But piercing damage sucks against undead. So, and probably some other enemies. So yeah, it's really, really bad. 
Oh, hey, you can use... Oh, we got our stuff back. Okay. Okay. That's very good. Um, you get the Nathan X back. Oh god, we have to check everything out and equip the right stuff. 1d6 plus 4. 1d6 plus 4 plus 1 mace. 6 to 11, 5 to 10. So initiative better, parry is worse with the cleaver. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Mm, the shield. This has two more parry. Okay, yeah, well, in this case. Ugh, don't get me started on armor. We have to check it all out again. You have the Nilsen Axe, which is grand. You don't need any more. One Charisma, one Astral Regeneration. That's very good. Um, you got a short bow. Do we have anything better? No. Stick up an arrows. And you shall get this is just 1d6 plus 5 well okay it's not as bad as I thought but this has 2d6 plus 2 plus 1 Pfft, this axe is insane okay so it's either the sledgehammer eh or maybe Norris Battle Axe, which isn't 4 to 9, 6 to 11. <laughs> and one handed, I don't know. 1d6 plus, this is 5 to 10. And 4 to 9 in his hands, I guess. Is he so weak? What's, what's wrong? With, what's up with him? a lot of courage strength ah uh, well hmm. still i believe it's better to give him a bashing weapon so he can be a very good all-rounder uh i guess it's this one Although I'm not too happy with this, but, you know. Good. Um, let's check out the items tab. No, let's check out the armor tab. Oof. There was this rubber coat which we had before. Um, uh, let's see, we have to sell stuff, our load is way too high. Let's get you some clothes. And maybe some gloves. But without those, they have metal. Okay, um, what Melva had was this Brabac stuff, I believe. Um, so. Is this better? It has 10, it has more infantry resistance and 20% more ordinary. The only thing where it's worse is bashing. I think that's okay. Of course, then we need to 
to go for the whole set. Brigadier Boots. Oh no, this is the one. But it's even better. Um, yeah. Encumbrance is minus one. I don't know. It's very hard to read all the stuff. I could have done this a little better. Doesn't change attack and parry, so I guess it's not a mistake to wear them. So now we have if I read this right, we have one armor rating, one encumbrance total. We have 80 against ordinary damage, 20 against bashing, 50 slashing, 20 piercing, and so on. Yeah, that, that's okay. Now... Yes, the gladiator set complete. Which is good. The question is... Is it better than this stuff? Uh, do I have everything? Purple coat chassis. No, I don't have them, so it's just. No, I lost my set bonus. I don't think that's worth it at all. Um, does this decrease my encumbrance? Yeah, it does. It increases my parry by one and my dodge by one and my other stuff. Why? Oh, they generally decrease encumbrance by one. Okay, do all boots do that? No, right? Oh, maybe they do. Oh, that's just the bonus. But that's the general bonus of leather boots, I guess. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, you are not needed to run around like that, of course, my dear. Um, I don't want gloves on you. But I want something for your upper body again. Some would be fine. Yeah, they also decrease encumbrance. Okay, that's what good boots do. Boots do, huh? I have no non-metallic gloves though. You, I presume, would be happy about. Male coif. <laughs> and some boots, come on. Do I really have none left? Oh, yeah, I have, yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, Melvach needs another belt, at least a small belt. I don't know why he has. A premium war belt that doesn't make sense. Small belt is enough for you. Melvach gets the premium belt, of course. Uh, yeah, the achievements. Actually, I don't know if this is the best opportunity to get them. But 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 we will try. So change for the wooden spare and the cleaver. And put some poisons here. Um, 
you can have a better belt. Still have two small belts left. Very good. Everyone has at least a small belt. And you can get a weak healing potion and uh, your bandage still is awful. can have two of those. Mm. Hmm. I guess you will get one of each and you already smashed up your potion. All vitality is instantly restored. Ah. That's a bit too good for you. Here's some equipment. Prepare yourselves and then go to the dormitory and get some sleep. Okay, this is our new place. There is a merchant, which is good because we have to sell stuff. We can sleep. What is it? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Stuff, broadsword, kiramesis, ramsur, spear, leather helmet, bosporan bronze helmet. Oh wow, bosporan bronze curse. Three encumbrance. Oh my. Real great sword. Two d six plus four. That's pretty impressive. Sandals. Mm, not sure. Well, in any way, we have to sell some stuff. Sorry, Norm. Okay, some weight has been lifted off our shoulders. Let's have a quick talk. What is it, slaves? Where did you find that maiden? The guard of the Black Cohort was after her in the Alchemist's quarter. She managed to escape them using witchcraft, but not us. The charitable Marwan was extremely eager to obtain her beauty. He probably saved her from a cruel fate anyway. Jurisdiction in Mengbila is somewhat on the harsh side. What has the maiden done? Rumor has it she tried to assassinate an honorable member of the Alchemist's Guild. Or something like that, who cares? Who is this horribly charitable Marwan? The exalted Marwan Ibn Khadim's Kyrios of Mengbila and honorable member of the Slave Master's Guild? You're certainly not from around here. His slaves are the best and noblest in the South. Take a look for yourselves. Do you have any dreamweed? Niam. They say Mengbil and dreamweed is the best of all. Only a few leaves. I'm not a gladiator and I'm probably about to die. <laughs> You'll have beans like everybody else. Although, if you're very good, who knows? There's a Slave Master's Guild. The Brotherhood of Slave Masters, one of the nine guilds. Dulog Ankbesi, their leader, is also the Grand Emir of this city. Maybe someday Marwan will take over the position. Then, you'll be the slaves of the Grand Emir, if you live that long. So Marwan is sponsoring these games to make himself popular? Of course not, because he's generous and respects the wishes of the people of Mengbila. Attention, gladiators! Huh. 
I'm actually feeling a bit pity for Nayam. She really isn't hit the right place here, I think. Still alive, are you? Well, who are you? Ah, uh, beans. Nothing but beans. I want a piece of meat to sink my teeth into. Will you also fight the Nine Hordes? I'm not an idiot. <laughs> what? At least I'll still be alive tomorrow. Ah, uh, nothing but beans. <laughs> Maybe we should bring him a steak or something. Well, good. I believe the next few videos will be about fights in this arena.